Alrighty, people always ask what I use to record with, and I have videos on that coming out soon, with instructions and details and all kinds of neat little geeky stuff, but I have to get SD card reader for that. So for now, you know, I don't know if this is showing up or not, it should show up, but it might not because of the way it works, but if it does, I'm using Camtasia Studio, and I'll get into that uh, sometime in the future. But right now, I want to talk about audio levels, because it still annoys me that some people recording, uh... They set their audio levels a little too high. Okay, here's the deal. When you're editing the video, you'll see a waveform. Let me show you. Audio. Audacity. And I'll just record my own voice for the heck of it. So here we go, recording my own voice. And now I'm going to record until it gets into the range of my recorder boxy thing. And there you go. You can see in the background there that uh, the peaks and valleys. Okay, you see this gap on either side? That's a little too much gap, but it's a good thing. Okay, that means I'm not over modulated. I'm under modulate. Under modulation, you can fix. Let's go to effects, amplify the section I have right there, and it says that I'm 12.3 dB below uh, what it wants. So I'll click OK. Now see this? See this here? See what I did? That's not good. See how it's right up to the edge? I'll play that for you so you can hear what that sounds like actually. Okay. Now if I bring this down, you should be able to see its mirror. It's right at the edge. Now that's not bad. I mean it's not over my lane, but it's so close that it could. So I want to do this go undo amplify. And let's try it with uh and this time we'll bring it down to about uh ten. Now, you see the gap on either side? And notice the mirror? I have a gap at the end. So that means I'm not over my lane. And if you watch this mirror, you'll also see I have a gap at the end. Let me bring it up real quick. Forward until it gets into the range. Forward until it gets into the range. Forward until it gets into the range. Now, you're probably wondering, what am I talking about? Why am I talking about audio? Why am I talking about video? Well, the same thing applies when you're doing the audio and video. Okay, let me uh, see if I can pull it up for you. Camtasia Studio is a little picky, and it might crash because it doesn't like it if I load the player thingy while I'm also recording a thingy. So, yeah, it gets a little finicky and that kind of thing. But it's a good program. So, let's do this. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm playing with the business card while I wait for uh, it to load. Okay, here we go. So I'll import media. Uh, I'm not sure if this is showing up or not or whatnot. We'll do Baloops. Just cause. And we'll bring it down here. And it should pop up and ask me a whole bunch of fancy stuff and I don't care. We'll just say recording dimensions because yeah. Now if you notice. Okay. See down here? What's that? What's that? What's that down there? What's that? Huh? What is that? Do you see this? Do you see this? Do you see what I'm looking at? That's the waveform of my video's audio. Now, it's low, okay? So I can up, up it, okay? But if I do this, and now do you see how it's going off to, off to the edges? That's not good. If I keep going, you'll see that pretty soon it's like, yeah, not good. Let's go about there. That's about perfect, but his mic tends to crackle just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit if you have that loud, so I always go boom, boom. Perfect. Now you're thinking, oh, that's back where it was. No, it's not. It's actually louder. It's, it's very minute. Now if I zoom in, see this is what people forget to do. If I zoom in, now do you see? Yeah. Zoom in again. It should always keep a gap, okay? If you're zoomed out all the way, it's really hard to tell exactly how precise you are on your audio levels. Zoom in, take a good look at it from again all the way to the end, make sure there's no sudden place where it went, OH MY GOD! Like I just stayed and went off the scale there. Okay. Now let's get into a way of controlling the audio, and you're probably wondering what this little mirror is moving on the screen here. This is the whole purpose of the video. This is a modulation mirror. And it's free. I'll pull up a site for you. Where you can get real quick. 
I have tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of uh, favorites or bookmarks, I should say. And here we are. Danwood Demons. Co. Uk. So there you go. Now link it off to the sidebar, which is the same place I think the Neil's going boing, 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 boing. So there you go. Uh, another thing you have to remember is uh, when you were talking about audio, audio can build up if there's any kind of reverb or echo or anything. So uh, if you echo, you have to lower the volume because the next echo will uh, go on top of the first echo and then third echo and the fourth echo and the louder and louder and louder and louder, louder just like that. So you gotta be careful of that. And sorry for your ears there. I know it went way off the scale. <laughs> okay, so what this simply does is it allows you to visually see what your eye levels are doing while you're recording your videos. And it's not the most precise thing in the world. I mean it's precise as far as the way it swings once you calibrate it. Mine's at minus 14 dB. This is six decibels of headroom with my sound card. Your sound card will differ, so don't go by mine. Okie dokie, what you want to do to uh, calibrate it is you want to use Audacity like I showed you. And you want to do the exact opposite of what I just told you not to do. And that's to make the modulate the waves go all the way off to the side. So it's like way over modulate. And then play that while you look at this mirror. And you want to play it back and adjust this calibration until it goes all the way off the scale here. Until it goes all the way over and the light comes on. And then back it off 1 dB at a time until it just barely does that. And then voila, you're calibrated. Okay, that's all you have to do. That's the same thing that you do in studios. They use wave tone generators to do it, but believe me, over modulating with where it's just static is the best way to go because a, a tone, a single tone, uh, depending on your sound card, can very well differ uh, on the mirror. Yeah, it might not max it out even if you like pump it all the way up. So you want to use just around like you talking and then max it out so there's a lot of frequency range to it. So it's like. <laughs> Okay, <coughs> and that's what the point of this video is about. Get this. This thing is a lifesaver. And then, while that, when, once that's calibrated, you can adjust this even more. See, like, uh, I can pump, I know I can turn this up, and turn it up, and turn it up, and turn it up. And as long as I don't talk too loud, you see, I'm in range. But if I talk up, it overmodulates. And that's why I have it down. So that way I don't have to worry about talking too loud and over modulating. In fact, I can loud a little bit louder. And that's what this is nice for. So you can find the sweet spot, the very uh, highest level of volume that you can get. 